Hello, Sonoma County. Welcome back to our channel. What do homes look like at different price points here in Santa Rosa, which is kind of our largest city in Sonoma County? I'm gonna go through what you get at different price points to give you all an idea of the different options here in the city proper of Santa Rosa. But first, I'm Julie Sullivan with Sullivan Group Real Estate, and we help people move in and out and all around Sonoma County every year. If you're thinking of a move now or even down the road, reach out. We'd love to chat with you, help you get a plan in place and answer any questions you have about Sonoma County or Sonoma County real estate. Let's see where you get. Well, let me start with, we always talk about how Prices are all kind of dependent on where you're coming from. You know, some people think our prices are high. Other people think it's a smoking deal. We always tell our clients and try to educate our clients that compared to the greater Bay Area, and when I say greater Bay Area, I mean anywhere within like an hour of San Francisco, we are the most affordable county. When you look at like Marin County, our sister county, their medium home price is well over a million. San Francisco, well over a million. You go down on the peninsula, I recently read that the median home price in San Mateo, which is kind of between San Francisco and like San Jose where Silicon Valley is, the medium home price is $2 million. All right, you ready for this? Our medium home price here in Santa Rosa hovers anywhere between like 825,000 and 840,000. So you, can you see how people that move, migrate north from the greater Bay Area really are like thrilled with the prices. But if you're coming from an area where you can buy a beautiful home for a lot less than that, or your medium home price is significantly less, this is a little bit of sticker shock, but it kind of is what it is. And I thought today would be fun to show different properties at these different price points. So let's start down at what can you get for $400,000? Yes, you can still buy property in Santa Rosa for about $400,000. What is that gonna look like? It's probably going to be like a condo or a townhouse. There have been a couple single family home sales like at that 400,000 range, but they pretty much need everything. I mean, they're kind of like contractor specials, we would call them. But for that $400,000 price point, you could get a lovely condo. You know, great for first time home buyers. Get your foot in the door. Stop paying rent. This is a wonderful option. Like you're never gonna get on the path to that dream home if you don't start somewhere. Or maybe you're looking for a second home or ready to downsize. Um, like one recent sale I saw it was a condo in Bennett Valley, which is, you know, in the southeast quadrant of Santa Rosa, very desirable area. Two bedroom, two bath, almost a thousand fifty square feet with this huge balcony that runs the whole length of your unit. Um, nicely updated with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, hard flooring throughout, um, underground parking in this unit. There's a swimming pool. And you guys, it came on the market at 399 and it, the sale closed at 392. That is a great way to own a property here in Santa Rosa. Like I said, whether you're a first time home buyer or looking to upsize, downsize, or a second home, wonderful option. All right, now let's jump up to 700,000. What does that get you? Okay, let's first remember that's still under our median home price. You're gonna get a single family home. Lots of options, to be honest. I mean, they're gonna be a little bit smaller. They're probably a little bit older, some of our older neighborhoods, but you're gonna get a single family home, like the one I'm gonna highlight. It was a three bedroom, two bath, over 1500 square feet, two car garage on a good size lot. Homes that were built, this home was built like in 1954. Homes that were built back in like the 50s, 60s, even 70s, they put them on good size lots. So you have a wonderful backyard, which is awesome. You know, these new build homes that we're seeing nowadays, they build them so close together and you don't get a lot of yard, which is fine for some people. But if you would enjoy a backyard, my goodness, you guys, we have amazing weather up here. You wanna be outside and you'll use your yard for sure. This home had updated kitchens and baths, you know, granite counters, stainless steel appliances, fireplace, hard flooring and some new carpet, fresh paint. I mean, it is move in ready. It could use a few more updates if you wanted over time, but you could definitely move in, live there very comfortably. You're in a neighborhood kind of close to downtown. It's our old, we call it the old JC um, neighborhood. It's kind of near our Santa Rosa Junior College which is kind of a little neglected, kind of funky little neighborhood with some cool old houses. 
and this house sold for 700,000 even. So wonderful option to get your foot in the door with a single family home. All right, now we're gonna jump up to a million dollars. Okay, a million dollars in Santa Rosa is gonna get you a very nice home. And you're gonna have a lot of options up to that price point. Um, again, our median home price in the mid eights, a lot lower than a lot of the Bay Area. You would just still be under the median at a million dollars. We're here, you're gonna have a lot of options, a lot of different um, types of homes. You guys remember, we are still very much an ag community as well. We're, we're in the country. It's a big city, but Sonoma County as a whole is in the country. So when you start getting up to this million dollar price point, you're gonna have different options depending on what you're looking for. You can have a bigger house in a more established neighborhood. Maybe you want a little ranchette, you know, a little rancher house on an acre or two, be a very nice rancher house, most likely. Uh, so lots of different options start opening up depending on your desires when you start getting to this price point. But I did see one home that caught my eye that recently sold, came on the market, I believe it was like 969, 970, and it did close at a million dollars even. I think there was like four offers on this house. So, you know, again, Sonoma County is very desirable. Our market has stayed pretty steady and, and pretty active, but this home was almost 2000 square feet. Again, a three bedroom, two bath. It was almost on a quarter acre. And it was in the Rincon Valley area, which is a coveted neighborhood of Santa Rosa and Sonoma County. It's the Northeast quadrant. And this home kind of had it all. I mean, it had the vaulted ceilings, crown molding throughout, beautiful hardwood floors, updated kitchen with the high-end appliances, the house was built in the 70s, but they've updated windows and doors and just, you know, really have gone through this home, updated lighting and move in ready, okay? But then the sizzle on this property, of course, is the backyard. You have almost a quarter acre. It has this huge patio, a big area, a lawn, and it has 40 Cabernet Sauvignon vines planted, which is kind of fun if you wanted to, you know, tip your hat and see what you can do making wine, cool. Or you can take them out and my gosh, room for a pool or whatever you envision in that yard. And, and again, in one of the more coveted neighborhoods of Santa Rosa. So for a million dollars, it was quite a beautiful home. It had a lovely architecture on the outside, very visually appealing as well. All right, this is getting even more fun. Let's jump up to $2 million. $2 million in Santa Rosa and pretty much the sky is the limit. You're gonna have so many choices between that one and $2 million range, but I wanted to find something that sold right in that $2 million mark. And this house is a stunner. This home was rebuilt after our 2017 fires came through. It is again, still considered in the Northeast uh, quadrant of Santa Rosa, but a little a little to the, to the West, um, it, North and West a little bit, but it's up in the hills and it is gorgeous. So of course it's a brand new build. So everything's brand new, but this home is a four bedroom, three bath. It's like 3,100 square feet on an acre and a half. And it is so beautifully appointed. I mean, high end everything, Viking appliances, lighting, walk-in closets, flooring. It's just amazing. And it came on the market at 2.1 million and sold for 1.95. So if that is what you're looking for on a high-end executive type home, we have those. They're being rebuilt from our fires and they are actually absolutely stunning. But again, if you're looking for more of a country property at that 2 million mark, I mean, you could buy a small prop with a small vineyard, I'm a horse property. You're really opening up your options for quite a few acres and quite a few options with probably a different style house sitting on that property, but still lots of choices at that $2 million mark. This is the last one, but I just thought it'd be fun to jump up to 3 million. And I'm researching these properties and there's not that many at this $3 million price point, believe it or not. In Santa Rosa. Again, if you're coming from the Bay Area, that's surprising. If you're coming from other areas, you're like $3 million, but it, it is what it is. But again, at this $3 million mark, Santa Rosa is your oyster. Okay. You can, you can pick just about any type of property. And if your budget can go up that high, you're going to pretty much have your choice of whatever you want, whether again, you're looking for country, or you're looking for executive. So um, I found a home. It's not a country property, but it's not, it's, it's not a new build either. So, you know, we have these new builds from our fires, but I thought it'd be fun to find one that wasn't a new build, but still a gorgeous property. And this home is also located in the Northeast um, quadrant of Santa Rosa. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 
5,300 square foot home on almost an acre. In the backyard, there is a built-in pool and hot tub, built-in outdoor kitchen, built-in fireplace. There is a pool changing room with its own bathroom, which is awesome if you've ever owned a pool and you don't have the wet bodies transing through your house. Inside of this home is stunning. There are cathedral ceilings in the great room. The kitchen is just gourmet with top of the line appliances. There are three fireplaces, gorgeous hardwood floors throughout. There's a home theater, a gym, and a wine cellar inside the home. And it lives with seamless inside, outside living with that pool in that backyard. That's a must here in Sonoma County. And this home mostly lives like a single family home, which makes it even more desirable. These properties are kind of few and far between, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It came on the market at 2.995 and sold for 2.995. Well, that was fun seeing all the different choices at all the different price points. I mean, literally something for everybody here. We would love to chat with you, help you get that plan going, help you with your next real estate transaction. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel so you can follow along. We do release new videos every week. And if you ding the bell, you'll be notified. And we'd love to see you here again. Thanks for watching.